Good morning, guys. Thank you so much for joining in for the math um, lesson today. Before we begin our module for lesson 16, um, let's take a moment and say thank you to our friends and families and appreciate everything we have around us. And let's get started. So today we have module 4, lesson 16. And the objective of the lesson is to make eight um, using number bond and uh, our number sentence when one of the parts are missing. The materials you'll be needing today are loose leaf papers, pens, pencils, um, something to write with, your math book, your number bond chart, um, toys, bottle caps, and pennies, something of eight pieces. So this is the application problem. All you need is either loose leaf paper or your number bond chart, but please um, use the other side, the blank side of it. Three airplanes were flying in the air. So I want you to draw three airplanes um, with your uh, pencils and or your writing implements. Three more airplanes came to join for uh, for flying. Show the airplanes with your materials. You can use your materials if you want, but I wanted you guys to use the uh, marker and uh, the number bond chart so that way you can see how the airplane actually looks. And at this application problem, you can actually draw the airplane. You don't have to do the circle if you don't want to but you can. So let me read it again. Three airplanes were, were flying in the air. Use your materials to show the airplanes. Three more airplanes came to join for flying. Show the airplanes with your material and show how many airplanes were flying in the air. So I'm going to do mine. You will do yours. You can pause the video at this time to draw your airplanes. I have one, two, three, because three airplanes were flying first, and then three more came. So let's count and how many are there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So at this time, if you want, you can um, write a number sentence, but it's not um, mandatory, meaning you don't have to do it. If you want to, if you choose to, that's okay. At this time, please put away your materials and let's focus on the lesson. So we have one, two, three, four, five orange kitten who are playing in the yard and two gray kittens joined the orange kitten. How many kittens are there all together? I want you to write a number sentence. So let me read you the story again. Five orange kittens were playing in the yard. Two gray kittens joined them. How many kittens are there all together? Before we start solving our problems, let's answer these questions first. How many were it, how many kittens were in the yard first? Which is talking about the orange kitten. How many orange kittens were there in the yard first? So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So let's see if the answer is five. That's correct. The answer is five. Now, how many other kittens came to play? Or how many gray kittens came to play? That's great. Two. Please, at this time, use... Um, Think of your number sentence. You don't have to write it down. I want you to think what could be your number sentence. And if you have, if you have it, please raise your hand and think, tell me what could be a number sentence that goes with this story. Remember, we're trying to find out all together how many kittens were there. Can someone please raise their hand and tell me? Ileana. Go ahead, Ileana, tell me, who, how, what could be my number sentence? Okay, Ileana said 7 equals 5 plus 2. Let's see if I have the same. 
Okay, I have 5 plus 2 equals 7. And Ileana said 7 equals 5 plus 2. So my question to you guys is, is it the same? This is The red one is Ileana's and the black one is Miss Shema. So do you think are both of them same? Thumbs up if you think they're correct or they're the same or thumbs down if you think they're not. And I'll tell you which one it is. The children who said, who gave me a thumbs up, they're correct because remember, your whole, which is seven, it's still the same. It does not matter where I put the two parts. I can have five plus two equals seven or seven equals five plus two. They're the same. So now I want to change up the story. Instead of two gray kittens, I want to add one more kitten. So we have five orange kitten playing in the yard, then three more came. So remember, this number now will change because I added one more. So how many, so how many kittens were playing in the yard first? So this stays the same, which is five. Now, since there, there were two, I added one more, so the new one should be three right because three more now we have three get three gray kittens that came next so I have three so the new number sentence would look like eight equals five plus three again it's eight equals five plus three because we have one brand new kitten that came and played with the rest so at this time, let's do our problem set. So our problem set today, same thing. We are starting brand new. So today is April 9th. So let's let me fix the date first. 4-9-2020. Remember, I have to write dates for both of my pages because I want to make sure that the work I'm submitting is the right date. So I'm going to write my name on both pages. So it said there are four snakes sitting on the rock. Two more slithers over, which means two more came. How many snakes were in, are in the rocks now? Put a box around all around the snake and trace the mystery box and write an answer. So, what is it? Uh, the question is asking you to find how many snakes are all together. So, the direction says to put a box around um, the snakes. So I have one, two, three, four. I have four, so I'm going to try to put a box around the four first to match this four. And then two more joined them. So I'm going to put a small box around the other two. So I know I want you to take out your fingers at this time. To figure out so I have four fingers one two three four and one two on the other hand so I since I already know I have to start with four because I already know that there are four snakes I can just count on five six and I know four plus six I'm sorry four plus two gives me six in this number set I mean in this problem set you will not only have six as a whole, you will have different numbers. So far we worked with how to make six, how to make seven, and how to make eight. So from now on, all the problem set will have mixed numbers. And I want you to do the rest of it by yourself. Let's go to the next one. This is for the students who does not have a math book. Again, you do not have to copy um, you don't have to copy the picture 
So I'm going to write 4 dash 9 dash 2020. I think I got my date mixed up. Um, it should be 4 dash 8 because this is for April 8. So I'm going to change my date because I made a mistake. In my previous slide, I said the same thing, uh, 4-9, but it's supposed to be 4-8. This is for Wednesday. Wednesday, we are doing... Uh, the date is 4-8-2020. Okay, don't forget, this is Wednesday's work. So the story goes, there are three penguins on the ice. Four more penguins are coming. How many penguins are there? So we have three and we have four. So I'm going to draw two hands. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I have five fingers in each. Remember, we started off with three. Then I have four more coming, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to change the color to show what it looks like. I already know I have three, so I can just count on. Four, five, six, seven. So I have a total of seven penguins. Just to make sure I get it correct, I can count the penguins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a total of seven penguins. And I want you to do this one and this one by yourself. If you have any questions, you can ask me um, via phone call or text message. So let's move on to the next. And we have shout out time. Look at my beautiful, my handsome Daha focusing on math and giving me that smile. I also can see that he's following along with me. Um, when I'm doing the video, so thank you so much. I miss you guys. Can't wait to see you guys um, soon. Make sure you do 30 minutes of ELA and 30 minutes of um, math when we are in session. Um, I believe that we are having a little bit of different schedule for our spring break, which is about a week. Um, make sure to check out for emails and text messages from us to see what the schedule would look like, what assignments are due. So that way everything is on point. Again, the schedule for next week will be a little different. So please look out for those text messages, those emails to make sure that um, you're following the right schedule. Okay, see you. Bye.